morning guys welcome to a week in my work life it's been a while i filmed a week in my life it's quite an interesting week i've got a mixed bag of things in terms of work and outside of work as well so i thought i'll take you guys along with me today is a monday i am fully ready if you thought this was one of the videos wherein you would see all these aesthetic bits of you know switching on the lamp and getting ready and then putting on my skincare and my makeup going to the gym and all that this is not that kind of video i've obviously started this in a very haphazard way if every single video you've watched online in terms of week in my life or day in my life it starts that way and if you think people do that 365 days of the year i think that's a lot of bullshit people are selling you well, i think it's complete bullshit to be honest <laughs> that's exactly what i said Obviously, there are days when you are very much productive and then there are days like this where you just are literally like you don't have time. You just want to get dressed, eat your breakfast if you can or eat breakfast on the go and just get out of the door. And this is one of those mornings. So I'm going to quickly pack my bag and take you guys along with me. So let's go into work. Honestly, it looks like this nice blue sky and the sun is out. But do not be deceived by this because it's 3 degrees this morning and it feels like one. Look at this, spring is just around the corner. Trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. I'm gonna let the sun shine in. Alrighty, I am ready. I'm gonna show you guys my full outfit. Ignore all the mess over there. I'm wearing gym clothes because I'm going for this event. Joyce is one of the panelists. I'm going to put Instagram link over here. It's in association with Gymshark. They've got a workout from 7 to 8 and then they've got a nice panel talking about women's health and everything associated with that. So I'm off for a nice event post work and I do not have time to film getting ready and all that. I've literally just done a bit of touch up, changed into gym gear and off we go to work out Welcome back guys, today is day 2 of peak in my life. Today is a Tuesday, so Tuesday mornings I've got home visits. Both of these home visits are for DMR which stands for Diagnostic Management Review. I'm going on my own for these home visits, but I've got the loan working device with me. Then from there on I'm going to go into my team base because I've got my book team MDT and also need to catch up on the admin side of things in terms of letters and liaising for collateral history with family members and everything. So let's go! visit of the day and i am freaking starving it's almost 12 pm i can't wait to finish it so that i can go and grab a bite but look who's come to pick me up from the train station Hello. what a cutie cutie 
Alrighty, welcome to day three of a week in my life. I'm off for home visits. I feel like majority of this video, I've literally been just saying that. Uh, so I'm off for another home visit, which is a review. This is a medication review. Then I've got academic teaching and meeting with my educational supervisor. I'll take you guys along with me as the day unfolds. But yeah, off we go for another home visit. Three degrees. It's March. It's supposed to be spring. Okay, finished with the home visit. It was for a medication review for somebody who was on antipsychotics. And now I'm heading home because I've got academic teaching this afternoon on a Wednesday. That's where I'm off to. Rest of the day is from home. Academic teaching, meeting, junior doctor forum, and meeting with educational supervisor. <laughs> and the symptoms of long COVID. I'm just booking it, Dean. Guys, I'm booking myself a seven week contemporary dance course because why not? I promised myself I would do something new every month for myself this year and this is what is happening from next month. So let's go. I've booked it. I'm going. I'm learning, yay! Morning, guys. Today is a Friday morning. I did not film anything on Thursday because that was a bit chaotic. So this is Friday, yay! And happy International Women's Day. Today is also the day I am on call. Luckily, Friday happens to be my special interest day. That's why I've started this morning from home. In the morning, I've got this webinar that I'm attending from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's about everything to get started on research. So I am going to join in on that they've sent me the link to join on zoom that's what i'll be doing from 9 a.m to 1 p.m i finally decided what i'm going to do for special interest so i'm going to crack on with that i'll be doing medical education in terms of special interest for the next one year well you're supposed to do special interest for six months but to get maximum results out of you know your special interest they recommend you do at least for eight months so i want to do medical education for a year and it's always good to have teaching experience as you go up the medical ladder basically when you become a consultant so you know in terms of organizing paces exams for medical students doing mock paces setting the exam papers i'll have to do a few courses also to be able to do that so all that bit is what i'm going to be doing for special interest so in the afternoon i've got a bit of organization bit going on for that for now let's join in on the zoom meeting <music> I did not film for the rest of the day because yeah, I just wanted to I don't know have a bit of a downtime. So my on call has officially started. It started at 5 p.m. I received one call from A and E. It was the EDSHO regarding some medication advice about a patient who is another psychiatric team. So they just wanted some quick advice. So that's the only thing I've received so far in terms of call. Fingers crossed, it remains this way. Well, again, never know, can never predict. So we shall see how it goes. Today's a Friday, so luckily don't have to be in tomorrow being a Saturday. We'll see how the rest of the on call goes and I'll obviously take you guys along. Okay, I've filmed the whole week as a week in my life. So obviously, I was thinking I'll stop today. But now that I have continued filming, I'll be filming today. And also take you guys along over the weekend. So it'll be fun thing to do to see how the whole week concludes. I didn't make any plans for Saturday, knowing I'm on call today. If things remain as they are, then I can actually have some plans tomorrow. But we'll see how it goes. For now, I'm just enjoying some snacks and watching some random videos on YouTube. Time for a handover meeting. Okay, so handover meeting is done. So we're just gonna sit and wait and watch. There are a few patients in A&E is what was handed over, but I'll have to just wait for the psych liaison team to call me in case they need a mental health act assessment. So continue watching TV for now. And then they got divorce, she married her obstetrician. Her obstetrician? Yes, the man liked what he saw. 
<laughs> Just got a call. It is 12:10 a.m. Well, there is somebody waiting in section 136 suite for a mental health act assessment, but that person has gone off to sleep. So given therapeutic benefits of sleep, not going to be disturbing the patient. The AMP and I have advised the team there at section 136 suite to give us a call once the patient is awake. So my phone is on general mode and I'm just going to go and stretch my legs. Obviously can't sleep because can get cold any time for this person if they wake up or for anyone else. So let's see how the rest of the night goes. Got still nine more hours to go. It's almost 7 a.m. Got a call at 5 a.m. Uh, the way it works in this trust is because we're kind of on call over 24 hours. You need to have appropriate rest time at night and that's five hours of uninterrupted sleep because I got a call at 12.30 a.m. and then around 12.45 a.m. So I kind of went to sleep at 1 a.m. So ideally I should have slept till 6 a.m. But I got a call at 5 a.m. and then now at 6.30 a.m. And I'm expected to go in for a mental health act assessment. But given I live an hour away, I had a discussion with the consultant and the consultant is like you wouldn't make it back in time you know back to your home for the 9 a.m handover online so these things happen you just need to hand it over to the day team yeah it's 7 a.m i'm just gonna go and try and get an hour's rest hopefully there's nothing that comes up between now and the handover time but regardless i don't have to go in it would be you manage remotely off we go to get some sleep i think i'll properly sleep now because i was just on the edge all night like i literally like one call and i just jumped up and picked up my call every time it rang not really good for my cortisol levels in my body but yeah it is what it is done with handover meeting it's 9 30 a.m i got a call again when i last time i said 7 a.m oh i'm gonna get some rest in <laughs> and i got called at eight o'clock again so yeah i haven't had proper rest so i'm just gonna go to sleep now i'll see you the next time i switch on my camera i'm so tired i look like my eyes look so droopy i look like arjun kapoor my eyes look like arjun kapoor okay i'm gonna go to sleep now <laughs> by the way guys say hi to the vlog Oh, 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 oh my god, we are on TV. No media, please. So there is this wellness studio in Greek Street Soho where they are having this kind of a workshop, interactive sessions, panel sessions, and lots of freebies and healthy stuff and everything. Given it's International Women's Week. It was International Women's Day on Friday and because of that they're having this whole event. And I'm not going alone. I'm taking my girlfriend with me. She's one of my oldest girlfriends. We've known each other since we were 16 years old. So yeah, almost half my life now. So we went to boarding school together in India and she works and lives in London as well. If you have been watching my vlogs, you've seen her in the past. Her name is Mia. We haven't met in months. Life has gotten in the way. So we are going to go out today. Girls outing, girls lunch. So we're going to have lunch go for this event she is quite into art and there is this art exhibition nearby as well so you're going to go browse that grab some ramen both of us are craving for hot ramen i literally texted her i'm like you know what do you want to grab some hot ramen given it's so cold and wet and she's like you will not believe this but i was literally thinking of ramen for lunch so that's what the plan is for today and off we go mm -hmm. 